this video, I will consider one numerical on Laplace transform. Synthesize the waveform and find the Laplace transform of the waveform shown below. This is the given waveform. We should find the Laplace transform of this waveform V of t. So here we can observe that V of t is a periodic triangular signal. It's a periodic with period t. It means that at every t the same triangular will repeat. So we can say that this is a periodic signal. It is periodic signal with the period t is equal to here the period t is equal to t itself. So this is called one period means at every t the same signal will repeat. So here period of the signal is t period of the signal is I can say t itself. So in order to find the Laplace transform of a periodic signal, we should consider only one cycle of the periodic signal. Let me consider the first cycle of this periodic signal. I will call it as V1 of t. So let my V1 of t is only one cycle of periodic signal V of t. So this is one cycle of periodic signal V of t. So here I will try to find the Laplace transform of this. So here we can observe that from 0 to t by 2 we have a ramp signal that is rising ramp and from t by 2 to t there is a falling ramp. First let me find the slope of this ramp signal that is slope can be calculated as this. that is slope is equal to we know that it is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So at this the coordinates are x1 and y1 so its values are 0 0 so th at this point the coordinates are x2 and y2 here x2 is t by 2 and y2 is 1 so therefore now i can substitute the values of y2 and y1 y2 is 1 minus y1 is 0 divided by x2 is t by 2 and x1 is 0 so Simplifying this, I will get 2 by t. So here slope of this signal is 2 by t. So now let me synthesize this v1 of t. Synthesize means we have to split this signal. So I can consider looking at this signal, I can say that at t equal to 0, there exists one ramp signal of slope 2 by t. I will call the first signal of v1 of t as say va of t which is a ramp signal which begins at t equal to 0 having the slope 2 by t and this will be continued till infinity. So I can represent this v a of t as I can represent v a of t is equal to t u of t and its slope is 2 by t that should be multiplied with 2 by t. So now in this signal we can observe that at a t equal to t by 2 this is t t equal to t by 2 the ram signal is stopped so now i should add one more signal to this ram signal such that it should stop at t equal to t by 2 so i will add one more signal here say this is t let this be t by 2 so now if I add one negative ramp signal at t equal to t by 2 then this positive ramp and this negative ramp will get cancelled and will get the resultant signal. Let me show that. So let me add one negative ramp signal at t equal to t by 2. Let me call it as vb of t. So I can write now vb of t is equal to so it is negative ramp having the slope minus 2 by t. It was positive ramp plus 2 by t. Slope was plus 2 by t. Here it will be minus 2 by t. I can write this slope is minus 2 by t. So I can represent it as minus 2 by t. So this ramp has begun at t equal to t by 2. So there is a delay. I can write t minus t by 2 u of t minus t by 2. So now if we add VA of t and VB of t, just for understanding purpose, I will add these two signals. If I add VA of t plus VB of t, 
then I will get the signal like this. This is VA of t upon adding with VB of t. The negative at this point, the positive ramp will be cancelled with the negative ramp. The resultant lamp, resultant signal will be like this. That is, this signal is nothing but VA of t plus VB of t. So now here we can observe that at t equal to t by 2, one negative ramp has started and which is stopped at t equal to t. So now I should add one more negative ramp signal at t equal to t by 2. I will call it a VC of t. So let me, my VC of t is like this. Say this is VC of t which is at t equal to t by 2 which is negative ramp signal. It will be like this. So now I can represent this VC of t as, so slope will be minus 2 by t which begins at t equal to t by 2. So it is t minus t by 2 u of t minus t by 2. So now if we add VC of t with this signal, if I add VC of t with this signal, the resultant signal will be like this. It will go like this. So this will be the t. So this will be like this. V A of t, V B of t plus V C of t signal will be like this. But at t, the signal must be stopped. So to stop this signal at t equal to t, I should add one more positive ramp signal at t equal to this t. Means I have to add one positive ramp at t equal to t. Let me call it as V D of t. So I need one more signal. This is my Vd of t. So I should add at t equal to t one positive ramp signal. So I can represent Vd of t is equal to plus 2 by t. Here the shifted ramp signal which begins at t equal to t. It will be t minus t u of t minus t. So therefore now I can write V1 of t is equal to VA of t plus VB of t plus VC of t plus VD of t. Now let me simplify this. V1 of t is equal to, so VA of t is nothing but 2 by t, T u of t. That is 2 by t, T u of t. Next VB of t is minus 2 by t minus 2 by t u of t minus t minus t by 2 t minus t by 2 u of t minus t by 2 then we have vc of t is again minus 2 by t that is minus 2 by t u t minus t by 2 u of t minus t by 2 plus we have vd of t that is 2 by t t minus t u of t minus t so therefore further i can simplify v1 of t as v1 of t is equal to v how 2 by t t u of t then here we have this term and next term both are same i can write it as minus 2 into 2 by t t minus t by 2 q of t minus t by 2 plus we have the last term that is 2 by t 2 by t t minus t u of t minus t so this is the representation of v1 of t now we should take the laplace transform of this v1 of t that is by taking laplace transform of v1 of t so i can write so laplace transform of v1 of t is 
v1 of s is equal to the 2 by t is constant should be kept as it is laplace transform of t u of t is 1 by the square and here we have minus four. so laplace transform of this shifted ramp signal is this is constant should be kept as it is 4 by t so laplace transform of this will be e power minus t by 2 yes into 1 by the square then laplace transform of this will be plus 2 by t laplace transform of this will be e power minus shifted by t that is ts into 1 over the square so this is laplace transform of the signal v1 of s now we should find the laplace transform of this entire signal v of t so laplace transform of v of t will be v of s is equal to 1 over 1 minus e power minus ts into v1 of s here t is period of the signal so here we can observe that period of the signal is t itself so therefore the laplace transform of this entire signal will be that is v of s will be 1 upon 1 minus e power minus ts into we have this v1 of c means entire thing that is we have 2 by t 1 over a square minus 4 by t e power minus ts by 2 1 by a square plus 2 by t e power minus ts into 1 over a square so this is the laplace transform of the given signal v of t thank you for watching